All right, have a uh, curse seed, uh, or at least potentially curse seed from Cranberry here. Uh, luckily, I was able to basically glean no information about this one. Go right to the end. And uh, yeah, I mean, never happy to see the Frozen Lances secondary, but uh, I will say, you know, Shard Tail Queen is technically my best champ, and. I do think that this combo is actually, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's like S tier, but maybe like, maybe like A minus or B plus tier. Um, it really just has the downside, well, maybe the lances bring it down to B, uh, but, um, no, he's starting with Ritual, so that's pretty good. And we get Impressive, which normally sucks, but with the Imps is probably fine. Eh, depends. If I get Imperialist, it's pretty useless, honestly. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I mean, energy siphon sucks, but uh, basically there's just a lot of synergies between these clans, uh, even if the incants line is like kind of messed up here. The thing you gotta remember, uh, incant should maybe be second or third down the line in my opinion, even with seeing two stigeons here. Uh, it, it all depends on if we find fledgling, I guess. Um, well, we have ritual as well. Even just that makes me almost just not want to really lean that heavy into Incant. Because the thing is, um, you know, between the Imps, between Titan and Sentry, you basically your Merchant of Steels are almost always hitting some nice thing for Endless, along with the normal, usual suspects of Multi-Strike being desirable. Um, Easy Arcus. been a while since I've seen Easy Arcus, uh, but Talos, annoying. Patient, probably, hopefully fine. There's so many sources of dazed in this combo so you see imperialist you take imperialist it's pretty much as simple as that um hmm. probably just a vapor funnel then don't mind cuddle beard but yeah imperialist is so strong ring one that we definitely just take this um yeah a little bit painful but our wave clear is incredible so Let's see, we only need one imp at a time, so let's block with the steward. And then we'll just go like this. Have that kill the floor. And you... Well... Pretty bad draw here. But that won't matter as long as we can finish it bottom, which... We may not be able to, it's usually not what happens with Imperialist. Um, could have maybe just went top. Probably wasn't too. Probably wouldn't have been too bad to do that. But I think we'll be fine here as long as we don't bottom deck the ritual out of the next five. Either way, let's just do this and that. Hmm. I forgot that I'm not going to be able to play the both of them. So we're really not doing much, but... Yeah, I'm not killing this no matter what it looks like. So... We should at least clear the backliner out while we can. And then... Work on this. We'll take damage there, but it is what it is. Usually it doesn't go this poorly. <laughs> um, man, this is fucking annoying. Of course, you have to get just this objectively harder boss. Well, we'll take some damage here. Did not at all expect to take that much damage in this fight, but I probably misplayed it. Usually you want to go top, so you have time to line everything up. I mean, I could have lined up my ritual of battles and stuff, like, that was just a mistake. Welder Helper's pretty good. Um, I think we just pretty obvious take there. So now we have an endless target. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just too much expensive shit, really. I mean, the ice, I could take the ice tornado since I'm so low, but I do have a, a vapor funnel. The only thing getting through is tanks, so 
I'm only really fucked by a damage trial, and if it's just money, I'm not taking it. Um, I'd like to avoid filling my deck with Cruft if possible. Alright. So, not a great start so far. Multi-strike, well... Hmm. I guess we're just going to take the Siren of the Sea. Like I said, Incant's still an option. It's not my first option. I think I would take the Sentry if I saw Endless. But since I see Multi-Strike, we'll just do this. And re-roll for Endless. Quick. We could do Quick here. If I plan on putting, you know, a Shard Tail on the floor with everybody. I might. For now, I mean, it'd be, it is pretty nice to have Quick and Multi-Strike. I mean, honestly... This could be one of those... It's always hard to give a really precise shard tail um, advice because it's so different what you do from run to run. Like This run is probably very likely going to morph into like Sirens, mid or top. Problem is, doing quick and that top, I'm going to need days or sap. Otherwise, I'm just not going to be able to encant enough. Um... Also, I mean, if we don't find Endless Imp, we just don't, probably don't really get much out of Shard Tail here. So, you know, the options are Health, that's better for Divinity, but Quick sure would be nice. I think I am just going to do the Quick. Quick and that is going to be good. I can... If I don't get an Imp here, I think I'm just going to Hellvent and Self-Infuse. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Ten and Pierce, I doubt we want any of that. Alright, let's just fight. Not the greatest start so far. This is very bad into Imperialist. Uh, this is another reason you you don't... You, you want to take banners with Imperialist for Ring 2, because it's always Sweeper Boss. And it is, of course, the only trial we didn't want to see, because it's the only one that realistically kills me with Vapor Funnel still. Um, it's a fucking unit draft, though. Hmm. Uh, man. I may have to hit this shitty Merchant of Magic because, like, these rituals are just too fucking expensive right now. Either that or I need to luck into a minus two. I think I am going to take this unit draft, though. If it's either Siren, even a Guard, I might actually prefer Guard into Siren right now. Um, I was trying to avoid putting both of them on the same floor if at all possible, but I don't think I'm going to have that luxury, so yeah, we're just going to do that then. We're just throwing them away because they're absolutely useless. We're just going to incant up here, and hopefully we get Ritual Battle. No, we don't. So, fuck you too, I guess, game. Oh, we're fine. Oh, hey, look, we finally got a fucking Ritual. Alright, so they're dead. We want to... Well, there's just no way we're going to kill the backliner, unfortunately. This is the punish for not taking... Uh, whatever you call it. Um, ice Storm, or Ice Tornado. But we get through it here, and actually I have a pretty good play here. Like, we're going to do this. Just for the kill, so... Good to know we had a little bit of overpower there. Mm. Not the imp I'm looking for, bruv. Could take another ritual. Um, either that or a horn break. It would be nice to have the horn break, I think. So yeah, we'll take that. Okay, drain would be nice for top and just bosses in general. Okay, rail beater. Hmm. I mean, rail beater is the best. Unit in general we could find, but 
I've already invested so much in the siren, and I think she's going to be fun. I mean, I could still just, if I wanted to, I wanted to kind of double up my incants top by doing siren, siren. I just wish this, I wish I could have found either siren here or guardian of the unnamed. That way I could actually just hellvent the both of them here with the infusion already in place rather than wasting a hellvent. Just to self-infuse, um, you know, these sirens. It's like I may have, I still have the endless that I could hit with the steel. I'm decently likely to get, you know, there's three uncommons I'm looking for. Any of the, you know, either of the sirens or fucking guardian of the unnamed. I'm likely... Not super likely, but I am likely to find one of the three here. And then I got the 50-50. Well, roughly 50-50. I, I may not be able to re-roll and afford the Endless. I do feel like put it, slapping an Endless on that Wilder Helper sure could be good, though. You know, Self-Infused Siren isn't necessarily that powerful. I got that late fucking Hellvent. That worst Hellvent setup, too. I swear cranberry seeds are always <laughs> the worst RNG. Um, I just hate to see a hell vent here and here. It's such an annoying thing to deal with. Cause it's like I I think I seeing that I'm actually gonna just go left then. I'm gonna hell vent the siren, and and I'm not gonna infuse it because I just want both of them. And that won't cost me shards, so. And none of these really do much for him, so unless I wanted to do Demon Fiend is like actually kind of okay, but I don't want to spend any shards here, let's put it that way. I might as well wait in the hell vent until we visit the caverns. Alright, that's a minus two. In case I find the times five event, we should do the ritual now. That would be an incredibly powerful play. Holy shit. I don't think I can do 25. Let's do this. This event kind of sucks, honestly. But whatever. 25 for that much gold is like arguably not worth it. 5 for that much gold is also arguably not worth it. And hell, I almost want to double that, but I think this is the most important. Because we have so many. Like, that, that's going to be a pretty damn good floor. Alright. Uh, did I want the other thing? Intrinsic. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to Intrinsic on Drain f specifically for Divinity. But until then, it's pretty useless. I think this early... I think I'd rather just double stack it and play it when I get it, you know. We'll, we'll see. It's a little early to be doing that play. I guess it could be useless or useful against Talos. Right, she's mid, which is nice for us. That's not nice, drawing that ritual then, but... You know, what the fuck are you gonna do? We're gonna go mid here, it looks like. Uh, we're gonna do that. It's like to get in and camp, but... Might as well just wait for the both of them here, right? Uh, so we got Conundrum now. I don't really want to take 8 from her. Yeah, I mean, there's not really any point in putting the, the dude down there. Plus, I get, I get around ever drain this way. Uh, Queen's just gonna. Well, I was gonna say Queen's just gonna die, but this will give her some time. I actually save more if I just do this now. So I'll just do that and do that. As you can see, though, we don't incant much in this deck. No use putting the imps up here. Might as well just put them down here. Um, let's just do this. This guy is unfortunately just going to do a fuckload of damage to us. I think we got to kill that. This is really annoying that it's only 25 shards, but of course it's just like the worst fucking possible bullshit that it fucking hits. Ugh, and I'm getting dazed on strike. Just load me up with bullshit, I guess. Um, just keep the incants going. At least I won't get fire damage too. But uh, we definitely got to get some incants going up there. Do 
too important to get the uh, rituals off, I think. Alright, that annoying fight is behind us. Um, okay. It won't be one harm tome, unfortunately. If I had found Endless on Wilder Harper, I might take it, just because Queen could turn into actually kind of a beast if I flexed Rally, but we don't know what we're getting there. Um, I kind of want to take the last stand over the Dark Deal. I already have Rage Generation. What I need now is just steroids, but I don't know. Dark Deal's pretty good, but maybe on the... When I'm already kind of weak on health, I don't know that Dark Deal's going to beat last stand. All right, there's a nameless siren. I could, I could put that into one of them. That's pretty good infusion, and we'll just make sure that one's in the back, and then I can try to tailor another one more toward, um, you know, defense maybe. So obviously here, generally the values over here. There's two vortexes. There's the Herzl horde, but. You know, the, the, the Hellhorn banner here could likely get actually pretty decent value. And simply just 110 gold to make this ritual one is pretty good. Alternatively, like double stack on drain is pretty big. And just general ember reductions because we don't have forgotten powers. It's kind of why I don't like the lances. Is it's not that, like, on top of the imps, it's just really hard to get a good incant going. I think we take this no matter what, though. And, uh, hmm. I think we gotta go draw, but I wish I could go Ember. But realistically, we need to build a deck that... Like, we're not getting draw any other way. We can get Ember other ways. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go here. Got a lot of money. Ooh, hold over. Okay. That is actually probably the best one I could have found. That was the one I was hoping to find. So, um, Nameless into one of them, and then... Steelworker and do the other. We'll have a convoluted deck until then, but that's fine because we can fit stuff on the floor. We're gonna have a, you know, a two-floor setup basically. So I was gonna hold the drain over, but right now this would be the best holdover. Uh, it's only really, you know, divinity that I need that holdover drain, and I guess patient, but. I can just simply double stack and it's about as good. And I mean, this magic can't get hit. This this is a real shitty magic. Then again, I don't really have anything to steal, but I don't know if a vanilla magic is going to beat out Horde and Vortex is basically what I'm comparing against. Plus, we could still get Endless on the Welder Helper, so the steal isn't completely useless. And maybe we just want to put a little slap a little health on. Steelworker. I'm, th I'm thinking Steelworker is the unit that stays, and for the first one we do is Nameless Siren. I'm thinking just because we're quick and and whatnot. Got to think about Stealth Boss as well if that's coming up. So I think I don't know. I think we're quick. We're multi-striking. I, I gotta think the Ritual here, and then let's just get the other Ritual down versus the last stand. I could do that. I think I'd rather just re-roll and be able to afford whatever comes up. Mm. This is not a horrible permafrost. I'll do that. Just permafrost it for the absolute best time. Alright, that was a pretty good magic. I'm going to actually take this though because I do want this plus 10 on my horn break. That's a pretty good play. Mitigate a lot of damage there. And since we're... Well, we might need the money for the, the endless, so I won't purge here. It's unfortunate that we're not getting it. It, it, This kind of hurts to not get the Imp Parade. Um, but I don't think we lock in Royalty. Just hold out for hopefully a point of Imperialists. The problem is, like, without just... You know, obviously you want the Rage Imps, but I'll even settle for just one point because... You know, then I can actually just get more value. If I don't find an Endless AA, if I don't find an Endless Imp, I'm just not getting much value out of Queen. 
and B, uh, they cost Ember, which sucks, clearly. Like, I, I'm not really wanting to take an Ember upgrade if I can help it. But, you know, it is what it is. Since we're so focused on Incant, this may not really be that big of a deal, and I can just simply fo bite the bullet, and after I remove Stewards, I'll remove Imps. The Imps are fine, though. I think, you know, we're, we're set for Stealth Boss, that's for sure. We don't really do much spell damage, and our best spell pierces anyway. So... We're just gonna chump block with this, actually. Well... Hmm. I, mean, I have 40 health here. Why don't we just do this? I don't need to play the imp. Alright, you go here. This is all just a bit unfortunate. <laughs> um. Dude, can I find my fucking rituals? God damn. This is why I took a goddamn fucking... Whatever you call it in the first place. Well, we're gonna take fuckloads of damage here. I think I do want to incant. Well, 10 armor and incant. I think I still want to incant twice. Like, I gotta st scale for the rest of this fight. I'm not gonna die to him. But I'll die to the rest of this if I can't kill him. Alright, we got our first fucking ritual. So stupid. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go there. Uh, Vapor Funnel takes that out, but does still kind of suck, I don't know. We'll take them out, and that's the end of the value that... I mean, we're still getting okay value, right? Like, that's that's a pretty brutal wave that just got cleared. This sucks, so... God damn. Okay, we at least take them out. Brutal, though. I talked this combo up, and it's just... I'm getting fucking let down hard. Did that guy seriously live? God damn it. Oh, whatever. Let's... Man, I, I do kind of want to hit this horn break here. It's my only chance to backline clear. It's probably better to do that than play the ritual. This last stand will get me all the rage I need. We'll wait till the very last second to get the most possible. I'll still do this though. There we go. That ought to do it. Alright, that was a pretty bad ring for 35 shards. 26 damage taken. I mean, we got pretty unlucky with the first fucking guy being the gigantic sharded up bullshit, but... You know, it is what it is. The raid serum here kind of makes sense. Yeah, we don't have... I mean, I could also return the last stand, but... I mean, that could work. That is definitely a way to win. I mean, it might be better than Rage Serum. You know, I hit the steel up, right? If I get Endless, well... I only have two temples, so it's like... I was gonna put Endless in the Welder Helper, and then... Uh, you know, put the Scholar into it, but... I do kind of think I need the... The sirens to get both infusions? I don't know, maybe I don't. I mean, does Steelworker do that much for me? Does it do much more than a good drain won't? Well, we don't know if we're getting a good drain. This magic will get hit, but if I don't get holdover, if I don't get double stack, it's no good, and then that's the last magic. So there's only one more magic. 25% chance I don't get what I want for the drain. Rage. I mean, Rage Serum is just a nice incant card. I feel like the Impish Scholar is a little bit win more, whereas the Rage Serum actually helps me a little bit. 
preserve or urchin spines. Neither are that good for me. Well, they are, because they're good incant cards. I think because I have such bad incant cards, I'll just take the preserve since it's not ephemeral. Like, it stays in the deck. And I need to start getting rid of imps. Okay, there's endless. That's great. 100% that goes there. Well, now, now I kind of, I don't know. I, I guess I'm still fine with this. Uh, definitely faulty loader will be good. Um, I still think we get rid. Well, let's get our stewards first, of course. But I do kind of think we'll get rid of implings all the same. But right, we gotta do. I'm gonna do siren first. Damage is king. Now, do I spell chain anything? I'll have 25 more, which will bring me to 85. I will get a horde for 15. That's already enough shards, so I don't think I do any of those. And we'll just do... Purges, I think. We got, what, Merchant of Magic coming up? Let's do a, at least one cheap purge. Maybe two cheap purges? Yeah, let's do two cheap purges. Now purges actually cost money, but that's fine. I think we definitely just want to get to our spells. It is, of course, this fucker, but that's fine. It's not really that bad of a trial, at least. And I'm pretty sure we'll just wreck them. Hmm. Can't put you down, really. I could just do this. I don't need to like clear them out or anything. They're gonna hit me just the same, so this next floor with hopefully the siren, hopefully it's not steelworker, right? But you know, I'll be i I'll be fine here either way. Okay, we get that. It's great. So they get killed. No real way I can kill that, unfortunately. Um, I'm just gonna save that for Stealth boss. Yeah. Again, though, with just the first tank being fucking sharded up, that's really starting to piss the shit out of me. Like, this shit needs to fucking stop, dude. Luckily, the, the vapor funnel's putting in so much work this run. Imagine if we hadn't taken that. that we'd, be, we'd, we'd just be dead. That's what it would be. Right, they're all taken out. We can do this. I am going to keep those still, though, for the boss. And on that note, we'll, we'll keep one. Four. All that damage from fucking spikes, huh? Ridiculous, dude. Okay, now we're gonna pivot this down. Still wanna keep this, though. Yeah, this is not really so bad at all. Um, do that. Stealth's gone. Last stand. Boom. Alright, no damage taken that time. I mean, it is kind of just... Ring of Four is so stupid. It's one thing, as I've gotten better and better at the game, the thing I realize is, like, Ring Five sucks, but Ring Four is the fucking worst. Like, Ring Four is the hardest ring in the game, in, in all honesty. Like, um, I guess you could argue Divinity as well, but... I don't know. It just feels like Ring 4 is the one where it just fucking sucks. Well, we could remedy her mistake now. Well, not mistake, but we could we could basically say fuck it to Steelworker. 
and get Impish Scholar back. We may be so lucky to get a minus two on the thing. Other, well, I wouldn't even hold out, I guess. I would just minus one it. And I can get it back for... Even if it's just a one-time thing, I think it, this is actually worth it. I think the, the... the Oh, okay, we're definitely taking that. The the chance of it being so good with, with Last Stand is just too high to ignore. Pyre Health actually... Oh, Queen's Tail, hugely good here. Hugely good. That is basically giving us what we wanted from Imperialist... Or from Imp Parade, so... I'll still take Imp Parade, but... I don't know, will I? We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. Eternal Stone here would have been nice had I not already done the Impish Collar and the Permafrost, but I, I'm not going to remove Consume on anything. And like I said, it'd be nice to maybe 1 out of 3 into a minus 2 here, but I think a minus 1 is just fine. Pseudo remove this shit, because there's no way we're going to be able to remove it otherwise. Um, not really any good holdovers, unfortunately. Unless I want to hold over Drain, which maybe I do. Honestly, maybe I do. Uh, I'm going to bring it down to zero then. It's the only discard I ha card I have, so it's it's not too bad in that regard. I think I would do this. It's fine. Arguably worth the gold. Um, so I took the Impish Scholar with the intent to put it into Welder Helper. I think because I have a holdover drain, I really don't need the Steelworker, and I don't want to draw it anyhow. And I'm not going to take a pip upgrade, so, like, I want Shardtail Queen to have her own floor. And I, I don't need these either. So, yeah, it's fun. Alright, you go there, we play that. I would like bottom floor here. Um, let's just get this out of here. Alright, that's the Nameless Siren one, so we'll put you here. Unfortunately, oh no, no, we're fine here. I was like, Unfortunately, I don't have enough Ember, but hey, I have the, uh, you know, amazing thing here. So as you can see, uh, like I said, there's no one-size-fits-all, really, with Shardtail Queen. On, like, sometimes I use just a main floor with her, other times it's like this, where I'm just using her as pretty good... AoE. I mean, look at how much AoE I'm getting out of this. It's, like, pretty good, right? Um, I do wonder about this train. Not with the incant. I might just let it go. Like, I could drain myself. I mean, I, I could. It's probably not worth it. Like, I don't really need to stack Drain here, or anything. Okay... I think I'm just gonna play this once, this fight. I just don't really... I may need to look into Ember upgrade at this point. I think with the deck I have, Ember upgrade makes sense at this point. Typically I would say, you know... Safe call is just... I think we're actually just gonna burn this here. Um... You know, the safe call is just to... Yeah, whatever, let's just do that. The safe call is just to go double draw, but... Uh, especially if you have forgotten powers, but with lances, sometimes it's just like... Making sense not to. So th they're gonna have incant up here next turn, so we may as well get our incant in while we can. So, that just means we can flip our rage down to here, and it's no biggie. Sucks to draw that this turn, you know. But it just is what it is. Unfortunately, I fucked that up a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna get my AoE up here. I forgot Sweeper. I guess I forgot it against him, too, but... It really won't end up mattering in the long run. Um, 
I think I do just want to get that out of there, though. Well, drew right back into the, uh, or whatever you call it there. We will get a Hellborn Harvest here, I don't really mind. If I get that Ember upgrade, I can start doing the shenanigans with Last Stand, and honestly, I should maybe remove Rage Serum, or at least not play it. Um, and this, this Drain, I don't know, is it really worth... pretty sure at that amount of damage, I'll just Last Stand at the right moment. Eh, you know what? I knew it would throw it away, but whatever. We'll, we'll draw back into it, and I only I only need to play it at the very end anyway, so... And we'll do this... So obviously, that version of Queen's not really going to do anything there, but... Uh, Could do this, I mean... Yeah, might as well not. I'll just draw into it the other turn, right? Some more sap. <laughs> never did. Okay, never mind. I guess I won't draw into last stand. Asshole. Ember upgrade it has to be. And honestly, if I took a draw upgrade, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But, uh... So I am kind of debating Dark Deal. Siren's Song wouldn't be horrible either. I mean, I've already committed to the Drain, but... It's not nearly as good as Siren's Song is, uh, at least against Patient, for example. I think I actually am just going to take the Siren Song. I think the only... I got enough rage. The only way I lose right now is some bullshit on Patient or even Divinity. Alright, we got this Hellvent to make... Oh my god, Railhammer. I don't wish I had the Steelworker now. I mean, I still have the Welder Helper. Still take it for the Welder Helper. It's not really going to do me much, though. Um... I guess I could find a Guardian Totem. But yeah, I think we are going to do this. Into the Welder Helper. Pretty powerful play. I'm right at 100 shards, so I think I'll just stick there. If I had a minus... Yeah. So, I don't know what to Hellvent, though. Like... This would cost me 10, but I kind of want to. Um, could just do that one. I'll still keep the silence. Um, I may just not get last stand back every turn. But I can play the silence once and stop playing it, right? Um, I think ritual's fine. And, yeah, I think Raid Serum needs to go. I, it's a dead weight now, because I don't want it convoluting my reform pool, or my, my consume pool. And even even these, uh, the Surge Stone Lance at this point should probably go. Because, again, it's it's actually pretty important for me. You know, there's a point of Imp Parade. I mean, there's not a whole lot of point to going this, unless I really want those tank stats. I think I'd rather just have my shit be... Uh, free. Even though I did take an Ember upgrade, it's it's likely I can't play everything, or at least it's likely I'll probably have like perfect Ember right now, to be honest. Armor is pretty easy here. I mean, honestly, any trial would here would be easy. I don't really think we're gonna have an issue with any of them. All right, pretty terrible first draw. If I'm being quite honest. Um, 
but it is what it is. It's the problem with not going double draw. You're just a little bit more prone to shit like that. Alright, that's nice. We'll put you in the back. Um, we could do another one of these at pretty low cost. Maybe I should have put it in the front. I don't know. I'd, I'd just like this thing to, uh, you know, die if at all possible. You know what we can do? We can just get this out of here. Because I don't want to redraw into those, right? See, as you can see, I... I don't have enough Ember still. Like, not even close to enough. So I think Ember was definitely the the right call in this scenario. Okay, we get that. Um, I do need to, like, chump block a, a little bit here. I, like, I do want... I do want Shardtail to live for a little bit. I, like... Yeah, I do. I, I just do. <laughs> not much more to it. Um... A little preemptive to do this, honestly. Well, I mean, we do have this coming back every turn. I, sh I probably should. I probably should. But definitely uh, pretty low on that ember. I wonder if maybe up here is better. There's so much damage coming in, though, that, like, yeah, there, it just wouldn't survive to get the AoE off. Alright, we will do that, 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 no need to play that. Yeah, I mean this is definitely one of those offense-defense kind of situations. I do like, I'm saving my a lot of extinguish health on my top floor though by having her here. So, I'm pretty okay with this. Okay, she's surviving again. That definitely is not going to happen there, though. But, you know, we've done what we can. Um... I just don't think there's any way that she's going to live, so... Unless I can get a horn break, I guess. Yeah, there's no horn break. Um, we'll do that. Yeah, everything, everything's still dying. I couldn't get a hit off there either. Why was that? they really gain that much fucking armor? This is kind of fucking stupid. Um, okay. Uh, well, I guess we gotta put some rage on this bitch. Um, I'll just die. I'll just take extinguish damage here. It's pretty fucking annoying, though. It's... Just, uh, pretty fucking stupid. Alright, who's doing the most here? You. God, that's... Yeah, I mean, that's my fault for putting all the rage onto the backliner. I mean, I've got like a thousand damage, and... Yeah, we need to get some damage up here. For sure. Unfortunately, the dude isn't going to die, but is what it is, I guess, right? You just stack some uh, some stuff there. This much damage, I can, uh, you know, get it done. Let's let's hope. At least no, she's no living armor. All 
right? These are defensive cards that I honestly might need. Branding rate's a little expensive, unfortunately. As you can see, I'm not really having that much ember. I mean, I will say... Steel doesn't have a whole lot for me. I may have... Uh, I can see reasons going to low value Merchant of Magic. I mean, I'm having such fucking issues getting my goddamn cards out. But, nah. I think I, I might need this march. I'm trying to think. I shouldn't, but... I feel like it's worth it with the red. Oh, well, this is actually worth it to put on my encant floor. I mean, that's five armor a turn. Yeah, that's worth it. Um, one of the many synergies, by the way, between these clans. Looks like Cranberry went down at Divinity. These are all pretty bad. That's amazing. Holy shit, that's amazing. Okay, um, Split Anvil might be pretty good too. I'm right at 100 shards. Just need some health, I think, on the uh, thing. Not a large stone. Alright, um, buy that. Don't need to add any more money then. So, as far as the hell vents go. a great question. Mm, it would cost 15 shards. I kind of want to do this with the Hell's Banners now. But I do have guaranteed two imps each turn. I just... I would suck. I, I don't actually have guaranteed two a turn because Shard Tail is going to die on Divinity if I don't have two of these. So even though I already had the nice 100 shard mark... I do think I need to do this. I think this is just going to be pretty powerful. And we will remove the other imps because they're just largely unnecessary here. Alright, let's hit it. Beautiful. I mean, we might as well greed, though. Might as well greed for the, uh... Just, it does suck when I have to put Shard Tail mid, but I really... I mean, I, I could put her bottom here. If I want to waste one incant. I can waste an incant, that's fine. Well... 45, I'd get hit for 31. I don't want to. I'm just gonna put her here. And I'll get my incant. Alright, you're the frontliner. We'll do this first. Um, we may have to put... Fuck, I don't know. May have to do this. Is that enough even? I need to survive... A pretty damn big amount. <laughs> fuck. Um, I'm gonna do this. Get a lot of ember there. We'll do that. And then I guess I'm just gonna have to chump block. Luckily he doesn't have trample at the shard count I'm at, but we're probably gonna stack fucking whatever you call it. So I'm gonna not play that in favor of getting my, my combo going here. Um, well, let's block with one and blast the others, I think. Okay. God damn it. Um.
All right, at least that lives. Um, do this. It's too bad I can't permafrost this this turn, but that's what it is, I guess. God damn, this fucker is so goddamn annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can draw here then. Uh, I think I can break a melee weakness, so we should. I'm actually gonna do this first. Well, I don't need to. We can greet a little bit here. Um, one. Yeah, we can greet this. And then. Ah, oh, shit. Oh yeah, Hell's Banners is coming up. Okay, I think we're fine. So I could chump block, but I could also just take this hit. I think I just take the hit. I might have actually been able to get the flying kill that turn if I'd been a little smarter. All right, well, we'll get it um, soon enough. To get the flying kill, I need to get some rage up here. Oh, look who, look who fucking decided to just show the fuck up right now. All right, let's do this. That. 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 I guess I'm not doing it super efficiently, but whatever. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate, whatever. And. I might as well just get them all statted up. Alright, time to meet your goddamn maker, Seraph the Patient. Wait, why is there a million guys on this floor? The fuck? Uh, I think if we go here... Alright, we need to do like this. This. Wow, still not even hitting him. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> the fuck? I guess I'm hitting one, 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 so I only have four hits. Man, that is so disappointing. So very, very disappointing. <laughs> eh, whatever, it is what it is. Look how much frickin' damage I have on the backliner. Let's, uh, let's see if I can buffer overflow this. I think it is, oh, it's at 999, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess, yeah. Oh, shit. Are you really dying? Well, let's see if I can do anything about that. I, I fucked up here with the, I, I'm just fucking up left and right here. Alright, kept you alive, it's decent. Alright, let's try to get you some rage. Even though you might just be a rat in a cage. I didn't get nearly as much on that one, but that's fine. I'm actually getting that hit off, nice.
Alright, Queen, you done alright. You done alright. Unfortunately, I can't get, you know, as much stuff as I'd want here, so we'll just let it go. Pretty funny, though, to be doing 20,000 damage. That is probably thumbnail worthy. Debating um, if I want to put the Welder Helper up top for this turn to get some survivability on Siren. I think I do because it's hard for. Okay, I can. Yeah, I can. I can flip it here then. So like, I can get incants. I'm gaining armor here, so that's the right play. I can get some rage on you, which is nice. Um, we just want the incant here. Like the, I'm, I'm definitely taking these guys out. Okay, you're gonna go in the back. We gotta play these. Fortunately, I'm drawing about as poorly as you can. Like I'm, I fucking haven't drawn anything that I need. Like, I haven't drawn the Drain, I haven't drawn the Guardian Stone, I haven't drawn the Last Stand, I haven't drawn the Ritual Battle, I haven't drawn the Siren Song, not even the Siren, the, the March of Shields. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, whatever. I guess I could always bitch about it. Hopefully I don't lose the fucking Siren. This is the danger, though, with doing the Ember upgrade. Alright, I think we should be fine here now that we have this. Um... Still unfortunate I haven't gotten any of my rage cards. Like, what the fuck? Kind of fucking stupid. But, you know. Whatever. Uh, let's do this. I got these, at least, so... <sighs> I don't really want to give them armor. So I won't. And we'll just do that. And that. This might be the Queen's last turn alive. Um, yeah, I mean, how much do I want to give this floor is the question. We finally have this. Fucking finally. Ridiculous. Uh, Okay, we can live that at least. But it ain't pretty. Maybe I should have put him behind there. I don't know. I do kind of want the free thing here, though. Um, That's pretty fucked. I couldn't even kill a Wiltwing there. Um, Alright, this is the floor I definitely should have silenced, but... Well, it's the floor I wanted to silence. How did the silence change nothing there? That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense. I'm very confused. Oh, whatever. Um... Let's give you... I mean, you both have... Let's give you some rage, I guess. I don't know. Like, I might get more out of the last stand by doing this. God damn it. Oh, we need to not play that. Alright, we got through that. Luckily, putting the rage on the guardian totem saved us there. Now we can start to plow. Maybe 
Maybe march down here would have been better. Actually, might just do this. And we'll do that. And I'd be down to do that. Let's get the kill here. I guess Guardian Stone is the only one that can actually get the flying kill because Divinity is just so ridiculous. still try, I guess. I uh, don't really want to be Ember Drained, so we'll just take that out. Alright, we're going in on this uh, fucking Guardian Totem here. Nice. Guardian Totem saves the day. Boom. MVP Guardian Totem, clearly. Nah, not gonna give it to him because he kept getting drawn so late. So, we get it done, but it was a much more annoying, like, fight than it needed to be, I feel. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think that was a good example of like, just kind of a mid-range, or not mid-range, but mid-roll Shard Tail Queen. It's like, yeah, I didn't get my free Fledgling Imps. I didn't have Fledgling Imps. Didn't have Transcendent. But at least I had a Welder Helper, right? Um, you know, worse comes to worse. Had I not found the Welder Helper, that second Molting Imp that came up, where I took the Horn Break, I think, uh, if I was desperate, at that point, if I hadn't, yeah, like I said, if I didn't have Fledging or Welder Helper, um, I might be taking the Molten Imp there. It's a little bit redundant with the Imperialist, but if I infuse that into a Endless Imp, um, then it's, you know, it's 15 damage when it comes down. It at least gives me an endless imp to feed Imperialist in the in the event that I don't find imp parade. Even, and even if you think about it, I found imp parade by the end, but the entire mid game is just a lot easier if I can get, uh, you know, if I don't find Imperialist, uh, sorry, imp parade there. Having an endless imp is just good, even if it's a non-ideal one. But you know, 15 AOE damage, more or less, kind of gives you what Wilder Helper gives you. So it's not that different. I've, do I've done it before, it's just I'd rather obviously have a Welder Helper, because then you can do things like this. Because the, the Molten Imp needs to be the essence, like it just so it goes into a Queen's Imp, basically. But with a Welder Helper, it itself is so fine that you can then find something like a Impish Scholar and put it into it. And then you do that, just the nice kind of last stand shenanigans we were doing at the end there. But yeah, I kind of talked about the combo. Uh, this is kind of... This is not what I would aim to do in a run. I don't think this is the ideal, but this is just what we were given, right? So, had I found a Fledgling Imp, or maybe even just some some better early Merchant of Magics, you know, the early Merchant of Magic, Ring 2, I just didn't have um, a unit with it, which you really can't do with Imperialist Shard Tail, in my opinion, because it... Against that sweet boss, you just you're gonna get steamrolled. Um, it is one weakness I'll give Shard Tail Queen for sure is Ring Two, um, but you know uh, the inc as you can see here though, Incant deck still works right, even though it was basically just hypercharged rage deck by the end. But we still got a decent amount of Incant scaling, just not a whole lot. Uh, you lean into what's strong, and I think in this combo typically it's the units that are strong right not necessarily the in the spell is like the spamming of spells 
Yeah, well, I mean, let's be honest, it wasn't really an incant deck. It, incant was just something we had, and the imps and the last stands kind of did most of it. It could have really been any unit up top with, uh, like, it could have just been steel workers with multi strike and quick, and it would have essentially been the same run, but I'll still take it. The early to mid game liked to have that incant scaling. I don't know what else to really say about the run. I mean, Drain, Drain's good. Siren's Song never really did that. I guess it kind of did stuff, but it also kind of didn't. But it's so nice to have. Last Stand, though, and Wachilla Battle. Just wickedly awesome combo there. Pretty good artifacts, too, right? Uh, let's take a quick look at what Cranberry ended up doing, see if we can gleam any insights there. Alright, so uh, he must have started Imp Parade because we never saw the other Imp Parade. I will say this is the ideal Shard Tail Queen, right? Like, just flat out. It's always, this is always the best uh, combo, but it's it's nitpicky. I think, I think either Imperialist or Imp Parade at ring one is pretty powerful. But I, I think Imperialist is typically, in my eyes, correct to do ring one. Mainly because it it'll, it'll it'll take on any trial just fine in ring one. Um, it crushes ring one, even though the, I I feel like an idiot saying that because we had a rough ring one. But that was kind of my fault. Like I really shouldn't be setting up bottom. That was just like kind of autopilot dumb shit that I did. Realistically, I can get through almost any ring one usually with imperialist without really any issues. Um, and I do think that even though the two points of imp, imp parade is like the ideal to have in this combo of having Imperialist and Imp Parade. I think that it's more important to have Imperialist. You know, Imperialist is just more powerful. If I were to get stuck all three in any one of them, I'd much rather be all three into Imperialist than all three into Imp Parade. So, you know, it worked out here, but that might just be a little nitpick I have kind of just first glance. Um, he had the Impish Scholar, took a Molting Imp. Um, what about the units? So, he went with Titan Sentry. So, okay, I don't agree with that. Because that means Ring 2. Remember it was the Siren and the Titan Sentry. I took Siren because there's a Multi-Strike. I think if you see a Multi-Strike th right there... Absolutely take the Siren. Not that having an Endless Titan Sentry will be bad, but... I guess one problem there is... It worked out because I guess you found two Endlesses, but you're, you kind of have contention for Endless at that point. Like, you might have only found one Endless on that run, and now you have to pick between Hel Welder Helper and Titan Sentry. Uh, and also, you know, just it looks like Multi-Strike was never found elsewise. You could have just had a Multi-Striking unit. As good as Rail Beater is, this isn't necessarily the best form of it, right? A single striking Steelworker Rail Beater with minimal upgrades. So I can definitely see like Wave Clear and Relentless being maybe an issue here. I'll have to watch the run and see how it went. I mean, I will say this though, you know, you have the Dark Deal, you have the Ritual. I don't know about Intrinsic though, that doesn't really make... I wouldn't have done that. That doesn't seem worth 10 shards to me. I think you'd be much better off just putting hold of that early holdover on it. I do like the holdover drain, though, for what it's worth. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it still is like a pretty good deck, but I, I, I would say there's those changes I would, I would have made. I, I'm also a little interested why the Titan Sentry wasn't self-infused. Um, you know, if you have Endless on it and kind of the ideal setup here, you're throwing, you know, basically double value of the Sentry out the, out the door by not self-infusing. I mean, that would have been better than putting the Steelworker into the Rail Beater. Like, maybe he ran out of... And even the self-infused Welder Helper, I think you're going too hard on on defense perhaps um, when offense is probably what you needed more 
you know, self-infuse here and you get an offense. You, you could have probably spared one of these. Well, also, like, I, I think you could have, I mean, you have offense, right? I don't know. It's hard to say. I'll just have to see how the run went. Battering Ram, I, I don't love it. I mean, yeah, you had a lot of armor, but it costs three. It looks like you didn't find the, uh... I wouldn't have bought this Consumed Crown. I, I mean, if you... I think it was at... Was it the last... Yeah, the last... You, you could have re not bought in that, because it's honestly a pretty bad artifact, especially at that point in the game. And you could have re-rolled and got the Split Anvil, and look how good Split Anvil would have been for you. Um... Well, I guess just the last stand of the battering ram, but even then, it's that's still gonna be better than a consumed crown. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I, I will say I think it's still a strong deck, and I, I honestly think it should have probably won. I just have to. Well, double pip upgrades not so hot. First pip upgrades fine. Second pip upgrade can be fine if you have better reasons for it. I. I think without a fledged, well, I guess you have the fledgling imps, but I don't know. That's I, I think you'd be better off with draw a second. I'll I'll just have to see. I'll, I'll have to watch how the fights were going. I will say though, it's it, it's not like a glaringly bad deck or anything. Just little things I'm noticing here and there. I do I do definitely think though, if you have the multi strike, you should just take the sentry, or sorry, the uh, siren. Even if it's a non-ideal incant deck, it's still, you know, it's still a multi-striking siren. That's never going to be bad, even in a bad incant deck, right? Yeah, I guess that's one of the big things, but yeah, not really much else to say, I guess. Uh, as always, though, thanks for posting these, Cranberry. I like. I would say it, it was like a pretty tough run, all things considered. Um, but in true, in true Hellhorn fashion, usually the way I get by the end of the game, it just this like Skyrim difficulty. Even though De Divinity was an annoying fight, it was an annoying fight for me. I was getting like ridiculous amounts of rage by the end. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.